On 20th September, Whistleblower wrote a letter to the Inspector General of Government, IGG, raising concerns over alleged irregularities in the procurement of the contractor to build the new parliament chambers, estimated to cost over 270 billion shillings. The whistleblower is accusing the contracts and evaluation committees of using underhand methods to unfairly eliminate some bidders out of the six who have expressed interest in the deal. In July, the Public Procurement Disposal of Public Assets Authority called for a review of the bidding process, tainted by flaws. One of the recommendations by PPDA required Parliament to retender and rely on the emergency competitive procurement to quickly get the construction underway, which is behind schedule. The Deputy Public Relations Office of the Inspectorate of Government, Farouk Kayondo, confirmed receipt of the whistleblower's complaints. PPDA made the recommendations, so the IGG is going to make sure that uh, to follow up with PPDA to find out whether actually the recommendations they made were adhered to or not. Emergency procurement of a contractor or, or a company that is supposed to construct the chambers is supposed to, be, supposed to have been done within at least 42 days, but it has gone beyond 60 days. Are you considering open bidding? Because it's no longer anything to do with emergency. You have to ensure that the people are coming on board meet the required what? criteria. You may ask somebody, give us your account. And those are the people that we already recommended. And if the person tells you, give me a week to give you this account, that is already a delay. So you're not going to tell them, stampede them and say, we want it now. So as I told you, there are certain technicalities again that can delay an emergency procurement. According to Parliament's Director of Communications and Public Affairs, Chris O'Berry, the Evaluations Committee has already submitted bid documents to the Contracts Committee at the Ministry of Works pertaining companies which did not have any queries arising from the July 2016 PPDA report. But the whistleblower alleges the Contracts Committee has a pre-qualified company. So it is important for PPDA to furnish us with more information regarding that, such that their names, if they meet the criteria that was advertised, are not submitted to the Contracts Committee. If they meet, their names have to go. Obore told NTV that three new members of the Contracts Committee were appointed after dropping the three who PPDA found culpable of irregularities noted in the first procurement. I asked him why action has not been taken against them. PPDA did not say go and punish those people. They said go reconstitute the thing. The clerk has done that. PPDA did not bring out the faults of those individuals so that Parliament prosecutes them. No. The Director of Communications at Parliament blamed the whistleblower for the delay of the construction of the new chambers meant to decongest the August House, which is currently seating 447 MPs, a number that doubles its capacity. The topic now is poor absorption of monies in the government. Why? Part of the problem is the excessive interference from petitioners. The parliamentarian who wants to sit or the taxpayer who has to lose money in this case if things go wrong. Every step is wrong. So it's leaving us with one thinking. Only the whistleblower is right. And how can the whistleblower be always right? It was after a whistleblower in June 2016 alerted the IGG about the fraudulent procurement process that led to PPDA probe that recommended the cancellation of the procurement. Efforts to get a comment from PPDA proved futile after the leadership failed to pick our calls. On 5th August 2015, the Executive Director PPDA Cornelia Sabita appeared before the Commission of Inquiry into UNRWA over alleged fraudulent approvals of addenda for the construction of Kawempe Kafu and Kafukiri Andongo Road. In order to allow competition, transparency, fairness, and also value for money, especially for the taxpayer, the whistleblower is suggesting that there should be open bidding before awarding the contract of over 280 billion shillings meant for the construction of the parliamentary chambers. Sudilvia Rohanga, NTV.